El Paso Electric is Texas-based public utility company, engaging in the generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity in West Texas and southern New Mexico. Its energy sources consist of nuclear fuel, natural gas, purchased power, solar and wind turbines. The company owns six electrical generating facilities with a net dependable generating capability of approximately 2,010 megawatts. It serves approximately 400,000 residential, commercial, industrial, public authority, and wholesale customers. The company distributes electricity to retail customers principally in El Paso, Texas, and Las Cruces, New Mexico, and resells electricity to electric utilities and power marketers. El Paso Electric Company was founded in 1901 and is based in El Paso, Texas. The company is headquartered at the Stanton Tower in downtown El Paso. The company's chief executive officer is Ms. Mary E. Kipp. Topic: History El Paso Electric first began serving its customers on August 30, 1901. It was then known as the El Paso Electric Railway Company. Initially its primary business consisted of providing transportation via mule-drawn streetcars, which were replaced in 1902 with electric streetcars. The company is reported to have provided electricity to Nikola Tesla's property in Colorado. By 1925, the company's core business had evolved to producing and distributing electricity. That year, the company changed its name to the El Paso Electric Company. It was also granted authorization to transact business in New Mexico. Today, El Paso Electric is a regional electric utility providing generation, transmission, and distribution service to approximately 400,000 retail and wholesale customers in a 10,000 square mile (26,000 square kilometers) area of the Rio Grande Valley in West Texas and southern New Mexico. Its service territory extends from Hatch, New Mexico to Van Horn, Texas. As of 2013, El Paso Electric had 32 electric car charging stations in its service area. The service stations recharge Nissan Leafs, Chevrolet Volts, and other electric cars. The company is also working to expand adoption of electric vehicles through its plug-in electric vehicle and charging infrastructure plan for the Rio Grande Valley region. Transmission system El Paso electric transmission system voltages are 115,000 volts and 345,000 volts. There are also two 115 kilo volts interconnections with Mexico to the south. Topic: <laughs> Generating plants. El Paso Electric ownership in power plants include a 15.8% interest in the Palo Verde nuclear generating station near Tanapa, Arizona, the Rio Grande Power Station in Sunland Park, New Mexico, the Newman Power Station, the Copper Power Station and the Montana Power Station in El Paso and the Huco Mountain Wind Ranch in Hudspeth County, Texas. In February 20, 2014 El Paso Electric signed an agreement with Colorado-based Dewey Solar Inc. to build a 10 MW solar energy facility in northeast El Paso next to EPE's Newman Generation Station. JSI will be responsible for developing, designing, building and operating the Newman Solar Project. The design phase will begin in early summer of this year, shortly followed by construction and final completion of the project, tentatively scheduled for the end of 2014. The construction of the new solar facility will help power over 3,800 homes throughout the year. The facility will be built on approximately 100 acres. 
EPA will sublease the land in partnership with the El Paso Water Utilities and currently leased to EPA for the Newman Generation Station. EPA currently has 47 MWs of solar power in its generation mix and recently secured an additional 50 MWs of solar power that will be online by the summer of this year. In total, 5% of EPE's dedicated generation, which includes long-term purchase power agreements, will come from solar energy. Lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> In January, 2003, a complaint was filed against EI Paso Electric alleging that the company issued materially false and misleading information by misrepresenting and or omitting adverse facts concerning illegal arrangements with Enron Corporation and by artificially inflating revenues. A settlement of $10 million was reached in 2005. 